Hi, happy Thanksgiving. I don't know about you, but it seems like this fall has just raced by. And here we are at Thanksgiving. It's hard to believe, isn't it? And next week, next Sunday, is the first Sunday of Advent. Wow. But this coming week is Thanksgiving, and that's our major theme for this Sunday's service. Throughout the Bible, we're urged to be thankful as a regular and daily response to God. I will give thanks to you, Lord, with all my heart. I will tell of all of your wonderful deeds. I will be glad and rejoice in you. I will sing the praises of your name, O Most High, the psalmist writes. And again, come, let us sing for joy to the Lord. Let us shout aloud to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before him with thanksgiving and extol him with music and song. Jesus, in his example before the disciples, thanked God before he broke the bread and fish for the crowds. And we see his thankfulness in his life as he related to God the Father. Paul tells us to be filled with the Spirit, always giving thanks to God the Father for everything in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. In John's Peaks into Heaven found in the book of Revelation, he describes the worship there and the thanksgiving. And being thankful is good for us. A Harvard Medical School webpage is titled, Giving Thanks Can Make You Happier. So my message this Sunday will be about thanksgiving. We'll see why we should be thankful and how to be thankful. How to make thankfulness a lifestyle. How to make our lives a thank you to God. I hope you'll join us for our service at 10 o'clock and then stay for the potluck afterwards. I'll see you next week.